This is Julia Whittup with Talk Story Media, and today we have with us James Twyman, who's a peace troubadour. What is that, James? Oh, goodness. I'm that and so many other things. Uh, but I think the peace troubadour part of my ministry uh, is still very alive, and it's really the foundation. Uh, back in 1994, a friend gave me a sheet of paper that it had on it the peace prayers from the 12 major religions of the world. And these were prayers that had been prayed for the first time in Assisi, Italy in 1986, when Pope John Paul II called all the leaders of all the religions together to pray for peace. And each one, like the Dalai Lama for the Buddhist, each one brought the peace prayer from their tradition. And when my friend gave me this a few years later, I had an extraordinary experience where suddenly the music was there for each one. I put all 12 prayers to music in one hour, began traveling around the world uh, to share this concert, often in countries like Iraq and Bosnia and Syria, and, and often inviting millions of people to join me in prayer at the same time I would be doing concerts. For example, the most recent would be on a hill looking into a, uh, a village in Syria held by ISIS, while many people, including rabbis and imams and ministers, joined together along with millions of people around the world to pray for that situation and to do a concert there. So that's why I'm called the Peace Troubadour. But it also goes back to uh, my great love for <clears throat> this guy right here, St. Francis of Assisi. <laughs> I, you can probably see I have all of these St. Francis and St. Clair dolls behind me <laughs> for a project. And Francis has always been very important to me. There's a saying that once Francis gets his hooks in, he never lets go. And so the big thing in my life right now is that I, I, I wrote a book called Giovanni and the Camino of St. Francis, which I'm very excited to promote. But that led to writing a one-man musical based on the life of St. Francis, which I'll be performing on Broadway next year. In fact, what I'll be doing, Julia, is traveling across the country with my friend Bill Free. And as we travel doing the musical in different places along the way to New York, beginning in Portland, Oregon, then Santa Barbara, then straight east, uh, we'll be traveling with no money, so penniless, as St. Francis would, completely on faith, no idea even how we're getting from city to city. No idea where we're sleeping, how we're eating, just in complete surrender. All the way to New York, where we'll be doing the musical there for two weeks. And we'll be doing something that no other musical in New York has ever done, which is during the day, we'll be passing out free tickets for the musical to homeless men and women, inviting oh, them nice. to be our guest. Yes, and I'm hoping that half the audience will be filled with people from the streets. Once again, this is what Francis would have done 800 years ago, and we're called to do the same thing today, I believe, because as Francis was 800 years ago, moving out of a dark age into a new renaissance, I think that there's something happening here very similar, that we're called to initiate a new renaissance, as he did, and it's gonna take every one of us and for me, traveling across the U.S. to do this tour is one of the ways. And if people want to see if I'm coming through their city or how they can support us, all they need to, go, to do is to go to stfrancismusical.com. And that's S-T for St. Francis Musical.com. The schedule is there. Everything is right there. So you can get all the information. You want to type that over on the chat? Oh, let me see if I, yeah, sure, there it is. Uh, yeah, www.stfrancismusical.com. There it is. There it is, okay. <laughs> All right, well, if you come past Hotchkiss, Colorado, stop by, you can stay here. <laughs> I won't be on this trip. We're gonna be a little bit south of that, but I, I do love to come to Colorado, so I'm sure I'll be doing the musical there at some point. Okay, great, fabulous. I'm looking forward to it. Anything else you'd like to tell us about? How about your books? Well, Giovanni and the Camino of St. Francis, as I said, is my latest book. I actually said I was not gonna write any more books. After 15, I was 
you know, <laughs> wanting to move on. And yet I did feel the compo- the energy, the compulsion to, uh, to write this one because it had been sort of gnawing at my consciousness for a long time. It's a beautiful story about a woman named Anna who uh, decides that life has left her behind, but she also decides to walk the Camino of St. Francis, which are the ancient little paths that Francis would have walked 800 years ago on his way to Assisi. I've brought many groups on that Camino, and this story began to brew as I was walking a few years ago. And along the way, Anna meets a man named Giovanni, who helps her to heal her heart and to realize that you're never too old to have a great adventure. So Giovanni and the Camino of St. Francis, that's the newest book. Uh, I think people will love that. And, and maybe as a way of closing, I could share just a little bit of one of the songs from the musical. That'd be wonderful. I'm happy. All right, I just happen to have my, this is a Venezuelan cuatro. This is my new instrument. So this is just a, an abbreviated version of a prayer that many people recognize as the prayer of St. Francis. Oh Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, bring your love. Oh, divine master, grant that we may not seek to be so as to so. For it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned and in dying to ourselves that we live oh lord i am an instrument your peace, your peace. Thank you, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so for being on the show. I hope to see many of you on the road. Whoops, I hope I can see many of you on the road as we travel to New York, or if you're in, you're in New York, the uh, you can get all the information there on the website. So I hope to see you out there. Okay, thank you.